You've got an incoming call again. It's time for a tower full of cats. So, um, it's working now, which is wonderful. So do we need to go in here? Oh, we did this already. I love the kitties, they're so cool. We did all these ones. Okay, so now we have to do this. Oh yeah, and we're also looking for bolts and nuts, right? Had broken the castle's curse, but some cats are still in their wrong form. We need to find them all to release them from the curse before they spread it to the other eras. Oh, what the fuck? How do I know if I got them all? That's a crazy sound effect. Okay, get them all. There's someone on this side too, I see. Cool. Thank you for your help. The curse has finally been erased. Please find my friend Judy, or please, my friend Judy could use your help. It's another kind of curse, the curse of prejudice. But said curse is way beyond my powers. Maybe you can help her. Take this key to find her before it's too late. Lab key. Nice. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, go back. Oh my god, look at this cat! <gasps> He's praising the sun! Oh my god. We have to show this to Daniel. That is the best. That's the best. Actually, why don't I just take a screenshot of it? Cute! Praise the sun.
Okay, we need two more hidden ones and two more normal ones. And two more screws. Oh, there's one. What if you used an auto clicker though? <laughs> yeah, is there a way to like cheat this game by having a, an AI do it? Just making a program to solve it. Okay, let's go in here and try to do this room. Faces are so cute. other room. Okay, let's finish this one first. Okay, I clicked on that. I clicked on him. Oh, 
Look at him stealing the money. Okay, but did you? How do you own so many cat games? It's a lifestyle. could it be? Pumpst. Okay, wait, I still need a bolt, though. mice or something? What's going on? Oh, Jesus. In ancient Egypt, there was a cat goddess that adored by all Egyptians. Okay, so what? How come they're all mice? What do I do? Oh, hello, human. I'm conducting some experiments to find a way to avoid the plague. But with no avail so far. The only thing I can manage to do was to keep these ra rats locked away in this room so they won't spread bacteria to humans. Maybe if we could tr transform cats into rabbits. What 
I do that? <laughs> Maybe I need to do something else first. Maybe I have to talk to someone else first. Okay, maybe I need to complete this section or something? I don't know. Okay, well then how do I... Okay, I must be able to do this part then. Am I supposed to like go in my menu and do something? It can be it can open one of the rooms in the medieval times. Lab key? The coffee machine has one? What are you talking about? Has a cat? It's not a cat, it's just a purr <laughs> Purr, oh my goodness. <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> help, somebody help. Okay, well. Oh hi, we are sisters and we live in the store above and yes, our owner does love hats. But let us cut to the chase. With the industrial revolution, we've seen big black smokes in the city. We fear that our planet's- for our planet's future. Could you help us plant these seeds? Sure. I'm like missing two things. What's up with the fish? Fish, but fish. Look at that little car driving. Look at that little car driving, the little cat driving. <laughs> I 
further you've been helping to take care of the future of this planet, that's great. But please don't forget your mission of finding the bolts and nuts, right? Meet me out, uh, afterwards at the top of the tower, okay? Okay. Well, zah. like in the zone. <laughs> Two cats, two bolts.
the two bolts? Where are the bolts? I usually stand out too, but I just am not seeing it. There's one. Ah, just one more. There's gotta be a cat Eliza in the furnace. <laughs> oh my goodness. Or for actually, yeah, furnace works too. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god, you see a stupid bull. Where is the bull? I just need a bull. figure out what happens with this one. How do you change the mice to cats? That gives me no hint or indication. What am I supposed to do? Let me look it up. Showed a room I'm supposed to go to, apparently.
Like, I picked up a thing and I'm supposed to put it... I'm supposed to put it on, like, a statue or something. I don't know where that is. So fucking random. I guess I was supposed to remember that. Hi, I am Bastet, goddess of cats. We are now adored and respected, but it has not been so in all ages. Beware in the years to come, for in the medieval times we are hunted as evil creatures. Such prejudice will continue on for the next century, and a plague will consume humanity after we were hunted down for alleged witchcraft. You have proven your worth, and I shall give you this bottle. It holds a magical potion to tr safely transmute rats to cats. It will prevent bubonic plague in the dark ages, and it will definitely help both cats and cats. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Hello, I hope you're doing well. Thank you. I hope you're doing well, too. Thanks for hanging out. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Okay, 14 more regular ones and then a hidden one. The mice are really cute, too. plans for the weekend? Not really, just chilling. Not working, so that's nice. <laughs> How about y'all? I did some yard work today and walked the dogs. Well, ran them, so that was fun. I need to do laundry this weekend too, but laundry sucks. Save both humans and cats. Bubonic plague is something very dangerous and was spread by the lack of cats, natural predators of rats. Let's help humans not make the same mistake ever again. Here, take this metal detector as a reward for your effort. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, next era.
Wow, you're a great human. Thank you for helping us. Let us hope other humans follow in your step into a better future. Okay, we did all this. And there's this one too. Yeah. Oh, the metal detector helps me find the bolts. That's actually super helpful. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's so nice, actually. Holy shit. plans for this weekend is to find some furniture for our patio which seems to be harder than expected yeah when i lived in california i was like looking for patio furniture and it's it's actually really hard to find like reasonable patio furniture that isn't a million dollars um unfortunately i had to get rid of it when i moved back to the east coast um but i found a good deal on amazon um i really like ketter like K-E-T-E-R, they have some good patio furniture, but a lot of the what pieces I liked, like the ones I got in California, they retired. So they don't even like sell that much anymore, but. I simultaneously love patio furniture and also hate it just for how expensive it is. And I feel like I can't find exactly what I want ever. Exactly, it's so much more expensive. Than yeah, I really don't understand why. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess it needs to be waterproof and stuff, kind of, but I don't know. They're sell they're selling you the furniture, but they're also selling you the dream, you know? The dream of lounging outside. <laughs> and they take advantage of that. <laughs> but yeah. It's so tempting though. Like it's it's fun, but then it's also annoying. <laughs> so true, yeah. Okay, four more hidden cats and two more regular ones. One of them's gotta be hiding in a coat, right? Look at him working. <laughs> yeah. That kind of gave me a jump scare. <laughs> Waspness, you go cheap. <laughs> this is basically, yeah, it really is a horror game. There's like a, every time you click on a cat, it's a jump scare. <laughs> I want to be rich, rich, so I can just like buy patio furniture without even looking at the price. I want to be able to go into one of those fancy like furniture stores with patio furniture and just be like, I'll take this, this, and this. <laughs> That's that's end game though. That's like that'll be the end of my life. <laughs> oh god, that sounds so depressing. <laughs> what we're working towards. And you can help fund this dream this dream by clicking subscribe and liking and commenting and doing all the things. <laughs> Just kidding. Where is the last one? Okay, I'm I'm using it. I'm using it. Oh, he was just there? Sneaky boy. Patio furniture is basically goals. Yeah, and having somewhere to put the patio furniture is goals, too. It's like big goals. Um, OK, 
Okay, there's one cat just out and about. Where is he? like your time in California? I loved it. Yeah, I do. I do miss California. So I lived in California after I got my master's and I worked in the Bay Area as a biostatistician. I was making pretty good money out there. This was before COVID though. And, um, oh, there he is. And yeah, I lived in the East Bay, so more in the suburbs because it was way cheaper. And, um, I really loved it. I really, really loved it. I did kind of miss weather, but it was nice having reliable weather all the time. And like Christmas was 60 degrees and it was very nice. Um, didn't like the fires. I had to change out my filters for the house and the car all the time. Um, and one time we had to evacuate and stay with a friend. Um, and my dogs liked it. The sidewalks there are really thick and I don't know why, but I love that because walking my dogs out there would be so nice and roomy. Um, and now that I'm on the East coast, it's like, everything's like narrow. All the streets are narrow. I think cause like California is new, the infrastructure is new and that was nice too. Um, but yeah, if I would totally move back there if it were reasonably doable logistically and financially, but I don't know. Moving with my dogs was such a pain. I refuse to put them like underneath the plane and cargo, but they don't fit in the cabin with me. So each time I've had to like drive or RV or like figure, a, figure it out so that they can stay with me the whole time. And it stresses them out too, you know. I always picture myself moving to the Pacific side of the country. Yeah, were you near the ocean then if you were in the Bay Area? Yeah, so uh, my office was in the city, so like, yeah, that, that's by the shore, but, um, but I was in East Bay, so I actually was more inland, um, but it was still very nice. Okay, I'm using this. What? There's a... I didn't know you could have a cat, like, hidden inside a hidden spot. Okay, that's good to know. Um, but work is in Texas, which is the worst. Oh, you don't like Texas? Basically lived in the slums. I lived in the slums, yeah. Um, wait, I don't... I don't... What's wrong with Texas? I've actually never been to Texas, um, so I have no idea what it's like. Um, that sounds great. Also, sorry for distracting from cat game. No, 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 it's totally fine. This is what I hope for. Like, these these games make chatting more fun, you know? <laughs> so it's all good. These are the perfect chitty chat games. Okay, we're planting more flowers, I guess. Texas is just flat, hot, and boring. So I'm from Michigan, and Michigan is also very, very flat for some reason. <laughs> like, randomly, I don't know. I Like, I would have expected Michigan to have more terrain, but it really doesn't. <laughs> like, you could see miles away because of how flat it is. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Michigan. Um, I'm obviously nostalgic for it because I grew up there. And I like certain parts of it, and it feels like home sometimes, but like certain places, but. Um, but yeah, the heat in Texas, I probably couldn't do. I was in Nashville last weekend, and it was super hot, and I just can't imagine being in the South forever. Can we need four more bottles? Look at this kitty. Hi, I'm Geo. I see you've been planting it for a better future. 
keep up for the, uh, keep up the good work. There are still some vases missing seeds. Trees are great for climbing and better than all this concrete. Also, with all this plastic and everything, there are also many disposable wastes around here. Could you please help me collect the plastic bottles and throw them away into the recycling bin? Of course I can. But of course. Look at this bonsai. Cute. Are you still in Michigan? No, I'm on the East Coast now. Yay. I'm a couple hours away from New York. Oh, we can't go up more. East Coast sounds nice too. Yeah, I have, I enjoy the East Coast. I went to college in Massachusetts. Got my master's in Pennsylvania. Um, I really like the East Coast. I'll probably stay here for a while. I may go back to California later in life, but... Well, you really need to clean this place up. I know, right? It's just disgusting. Three more cats. Only three more? That's crazy. Oh, there's one. He's had... I know when I'm done with all the plants. We did a trip to New Hampshire slash Maine last fall and it was nice. Yeah, the East Coast in the fall is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Way better than the Midwest because it's so mountainous out here so you can really see all the fall foliage. It's beautiful. Sowed all the seeds. Thank you for planting trees. Let's hope these seeds become wonderful, majestic trees that make this world better for all of us. So true. This is something I struggle with in Texas. There aren't really seasons. Yeah, it did feel. I did feel kind of weird being in California without having seasons. It's like time wasn't passing or something. I don't know. I felt a little stuck. Like it made me a little stir crazy. And I was only out there for two years, so. I don't know. Where are all the cats? the bay area have mild weather you're around like 60 70 degree yeah so like in the city it's a little bit cooler like in the city you can get to 50s and 60s in the east bay it runs a little bit hotter it's like 70s 80s all year round it'll be like maybe a month of 60s but yeah like the more west you go it's like a little bit or east you go within the bay area it's it's hotter Close to the water, it's a little bit colder. Oh, there it is. Cool. Let's talk to the kitty. Thank you for planting tree. Okay. Okay. Alright. Love modern life. 
Also, do you like the snow? Um, oh, that makes sense because the breeze off the ocean. Yeah, I think so. And I, I used to like snow a lot as a kid. But when I grew up and like you're responsible for taking care of said snow, it's like no longer fun. <laughs> like I love playing in the snow. I love looking at the snow. It was very like Christmassy and, and homey and I don't know. But then when like I started driving and I had to like de-snow my car and like driving in it. And now that like I have to clear off my sidewalk when it snows, it's more of a pain in the ass. So like. I like it for Christmas, but I wish it could just be here for the week of Christmas and then go away. <laughs> but it doesn't really work like that. And in Michigan, we'd have insane winters. Like we would just get piles and piles of snow. 100% feel that, yeah. If I could just look at snow, I would love snow. Also, just like walking through it and existing in it is not fun when you're an adult. As a kid, it's fun to play in, but as an adult, it's just like, ugh. Okay, there's five hidden cats still. How is this possible? Oh my god, they're in the TV, that's hilarious. Love that. Okay, now there's just one free cat. I'm using it. It's peaceful to watch through a window, but when you have to go out into a cell, exactly. Yeah. midnight already. Okay, let's clear out this apartment and then and then we'll call it probably. And then tomorrow we'll be back with banter. I don't even know what we're doing. But I'm excited. Should we replay through the coffin of Andy and Lele <laughs> with Daniel? This window really quick and then we'll be done with the modern era like 100%. favorite games genres you like to play? I used to be really into JRPGs. I play them a little bit less now because they're time consuming, but I still really like Persona and stuff. Love roguelikes. Splunky is like my, one of my favorite franchises. And I really like just like classic RPGs like Zelda, Tunic. <laughs> um, and I've been in the past like five years I've been really, I'm really four years, I've really been into puzzle games. Um, not so much growing up, but like in my adult life, I really love a cool, chill puzzle game. 
Um, and I also really like story-based games that you just like, like visual novels almost. I don't know. I've always, I've always considered myself more of a video game connoisseur just because I <laughs> like all genres, but, um, except for shooters. I will play anything except for shooters, and I blame my brother for that. Because <laughs> growing up, he'd always make me play Halo and stuff, and I just was not good at it. <laughs> Even fighting games I'll, like, kind of enjoy, but I just suck at shooters. We play Helldev. That's true. Do you play the Nancy Drew games? I have not, but I've heard they're good. And you start playing Tunic? I hope you love Tunic, because Tunic, I think, is, like, top three games for me. I, I absolutely adore Tunic. It's so good. It's amazing. Okay, we just have one more kitty. And I don't want to use the hint, so it's... <gasps> there he is. Found him. Millennials find all the cats in 2010. Nice. Cute. Dang, so this is like the future. 78, okay. Well, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think, and I will be back with another episode of A Tower Full of Cats coming right up.